Hi everyone, Just for Sweets here. So today we are going to make a kind of a freezer meal. I am going to pre-bag some smoothies, some fruit smoothies, uh, so that when I need to make them in the morning, everything's done and I'm not having to cut things and try to hurry and get out the door. So I am just putting some fresh fruits together that I bought at the store yesterday and um, I'll show you how I'm going to do these. You're going to need some individual Ziploc baggies and or sandwich size baggies and then one big freezer bag you also need um, any fruit that you choose I chose some fresh sliced mango I have some bananas we have some fresh strawberries that have been washed and I have a pack of fresh blueberries that have been washed and these fruits all have great nutritional value so these are the ones I chose and I found them at the store yesterday and they looked great now the, the secret trick that I've done is you see these ice cubes aren't exactly white but I usually put ice cubes into my smoothies and I'm going to kind of do a two in one step. I also usually put yogurt in my smoothies so I went ahead and froze this last night. I found this probiotic yogurt, uh, Greek yogurt at the store yesterday and it's in a liquid form so I went ahead and I froze it into, ice cube, into an ice cube tray last night. Um, if you don't want to use that, this is 99% lactose free. Um, you can also use, they have Good Belly Probiotic. It's a juice. This one's mango flavored. Uh, I probably might throw a little bit of this in there for the liquid part. If not, you can also um, exchange this with coconut water, which doesn't have any calories, where this one has a lot more calories. But probiotics are really good for your digestive system, and so that's why I'm choosing to use this. So you could freeze these ahead of time if you want to, or add a splash in uh, for your liquid, because you have to have liquid in a smoothie. Um, or like I said, go ahead and use um, uh, coconut water, which has great hydration, great flavor, and doesn't add the calories. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, you have to pre-freeze those, and uh, here we go. So we are going to start with our first baggie, and I go ahead and let's just open it up. Okay, I'm gonna put roughly two, these are very large strawberries. So depending on the size of your strawberries, you can put what you want in there. I'm going to put two per baggie. cut the tops off of them. Like I said, I pre-washed these. All right, I'm gonna grab a handful of blueberries. I wanna make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. Let's kind of scooch you over a little bit. There we go. Got our blueberries in there. You can add as many of those as you like. Blueberries also very, very good for you. Then I bought my mango pre-sliced at Costco because I just didn't feel like trying to slice it myself. So I'm going to add a few little chunks of mango to this. And I like the texture of mango and the sweetness of the mango. So I add a few chunks of that in there. And I always like to put some banana in my smoothie because it helps make it creamy, plus it gives you your potassium that you need. So go ahead and get that banana ready. I'm gonna use, sometimes I use a half and sometimes I use a quarter. I think I, I'll use a half, but I'm gonna cut it into a couple chunks. Put your banana in there. I forgot to tell you, I also add flaxseed, um, ground, ground flaxseed to all my smoothies for the fiber and the nutritional value in that. It has the omega-3s. Okay, now you're gonna to wanna to get these yogurt ice cubes together, but not before I add one tablespoon of my flaxseed to my mix. And we are going to add, whoop, there they all are, two of our yogurt ice cubes. And there is your pre-made freezer smoothie all ready to go. All you have to do is stick this in your hand or in your mixer, your blender, your Vitamix, or whatever you have. Add some liquid to it, probably right around a half a cup of liquid, and blend away, and you have a wonderful, delicious smoothie. So we'll put another one together here. Get these out of the way. 
This time I'll start with my banana since I have it all peeled and ready to go. So again, you're gonna use banana. Go backwards this time, how about that? We're gonna use some mango. This mango is not very soft, but once it gets with those other flavors, it'll be really good. Okay, got our mango. Gonna grab a handful of some fresh blueberries. Put those in there. Maybe a few more because those are nice and sweet. I'm gonna add a couple strawberries. Strawberries taste so good right now. Big strawberries. Big tablespoon of our flaxseed. As soon as I find my spoon, <laughs> I usually just put a heaping tablespoon in there. Now, of course, you can leave that out if you don't want that in there. All right. Two of our yogurt ice cubes or our probiotic ice cubes. And I'm going to keep going and make one big baggie and we'll be back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I have them all packaged up. I did six baggies um, until I ran out of um, certain fruits. And I made a couple without bananas and just kind of mixed and matched. So they're all done. I put them in their bag labeled smoothies and the date. And now they can just go in the freezer. And as we want to make smoothies, we can pull one baggie out at a time and go right into the blender with it. And this is the coconut water I was telling you about, which you can get coconut water at almost any grocery store anymore. Use that, use probiotic juice if you want to, uh, use soy milk, whatever it is that you like to put into your smoothies. But these are all prepackaged and ready to go. And I wanted to share this great idea with you. Um, I actually got this idea from a friend of mine and her and her mom do this every day. So we throw a lot of fruit away, so I thought this would be great. So anyway, I hope you like this. Hope you give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe to my channel and uh, go to my Facebook page just for sweets or my group page recipe book and ask to join that. Also, um, share this on your Facebook page or if you have a Twitter or if you or anything like that, go ahead and share it. And until next time, next video, have a wonderful day, everybody, and God bless.